today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Infinite Series Build-A-Figure Hulkbuster Vision. Though it does not say Vision anywhere on the front, it only says Marvel Heroes. I wish they would just simply put the name of the character on the front, but needless to say, the two heroes, Marvel Heroes, consist of Vision. And on the other side, Doctor Strange. The back of the package, therefore, also gives you the names, but again, I kind of wish that the names were also featured on the front. A quick read-up says, whether by spellcasting, sorcery, or spectral manipulation, these heroes wield immense power. Other figures in the series of Hulkbuster figures, there is Marvel Now Iron Man, there's Marvel's uh, War Machine, there's Marvel's Blizzard, Marvel Heroes Doctor Strange and Vision, there's Valkyrie, and there's Thundra, although unfortunately they just say they're, they just say Fearless Defenders. I don't know why Hasbro does this, just, just put the names. Doesn't have to be overly complicated, just put the names. At any rate though, if you take all the figures, and it appears that all seven are required, you can build your very own Hulkbuster, which we will be doing over the course of these videos. Spot's gonna take a break and get this opened up when we come back. We're getting a better look at the Marvel Infinite series, Marvel Heroes Vision. Don't go anywhere, guys. Stay tuned. The very first thing we will do is have a look at the Build-A-Figure piece that comes with the Vision. And in this case, it's the lower torso of Hulkbuster. And there goes the figure again. These figures just don't want to stand. Um, the lower torso doesn't look too bad, although the... Let me just say that the ball joint, getting it out of the package, I've loosened it up since. But getting it out of the package, the ball joint down here is so stiff, I thought I was actually going to break it. So we have the lower torso, and now that I'm looking at the lower torso and we bring in the other pieces, I feel like it was in safe, smart decision-making on my part to keep the pieces off. Because I, as you can see... We'll just rotate this. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll actually just try to put it on as is. Um, there's the ledge. See right there? It's not a ball joint. It's like a obviously a square peg, but the square peg has to sit above the torso of the of the Hulkbuster. So you couldn't have actually managed to accomplish this with the pieces together. So. If you had watched my first video and you thought to yourself, hmm, I'll probably just put them together, you'd be kicking yourself right now. Not to say that these pegs aren't strong enough, but I don't know, I feel as if, I don't know, I don't feel like the pegs are strong enough to, to be pulling and putting and pulling these apart. You're probably adding a little too much stress to them. So, I, good, good smart idea just to keep these off. Now, we're going to take these pieces. I don't think I have to worry about anything else per se. This will just fit into the back here. I really should turn this. Ugh, as you can see, it's really stiff. I might try to have to fight with it once we get it put together, but we're going to take the two halves, snap them together. Ugh, there we go. And this torso is so stiff. Oh no. Ah. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it as is. We'll finagle it later. But uh, right now, as you can see, the torso is about the same size as Vision. Vision is maybe about, what, a, f a quarter of a figure taller. But this will get immensely big. Two minutes in. We're going to put this aside. We'll look at the figure now. Okay, so Vision comes with a couple of other pieces as well. He comes with his cape, which you have to attach. It's one of the few Marvel Legends I've seen out of packaging where you have to attach his cape. But you know what? Before we do that, let's put that aside. One thing I want to touch base on, and uh, Blizzard was kind of bad for this, but I feel like Vision, maybe he's not as bad. That blue was really bad with the, the white, but like the yellow. Yellow is always a culprit when it comes to figures, especially if they put yellow over top on an existing color. Never quite get a solid, a solid read from that. It ends up being very broken. You can kind of see the green underneath it. I mean, luckily the cape will cover some of it, but it's just a shame that it has some of those imperfections. I'm going to just take the cape and wrap it around his neck. And then there is a clip right there that's going to clip to the back, uh, little hole in his back there. And we're going to plug that in, making sure, of course, we got, yeah, we did get that all in. And we're just going to apply a little bit of pressure to get that fully affixed. And looks like, I think we got it all, I think we got it all in. 
Ugh, there we go. And there you have vision. Um, the, the drawback to the cape though is as you push down on the cape this way, it kind of pushes itself off the figure. Or in this case, if you're going to push the back onto the shoulder, the cape kind of sticks out too much on an angle. Um, it also is to note, one of the more glaring things to point out, is that the plastic on his cape doesn't match the yellow that's in his collar. I don't, know, I don't know Vision, or at least the more modern suit of Vision, well enough to know if that's supposed to be deliberate, but I feel like that yellow should match the yellow that's on the front here. The rest of the figure era isn't too bad. There, there are imperfections, of course, to his face, and I don't want to just pick apart imperfections, because that's not really the case. It's not why we're here. The red, though, I have to say, doesn't, isn't very clean. You can see some of the green that's underneath the face. And it's not a very clean outline of the face plate or the equivalent of what his face outline would be. It's not very clean. Um, I would almost, and I wouldn't do this, but I'd almost be inclined to take like a, like a little black pen and just outline this just to kind of give him a clean finish. Because it just seems like it, it doesn't look as polished as I feel like it should be. The rest of his body and reach off camera. The rest of his body shares the exact same body as Blizzard, be it only the swap out of the hand. He has this open spell casting style of hand, whereas Blizzard had both closed fists. But if you exclude that one change of hand, the bodies are exactly the same. Vision by nature, by the weight of him, and I'm not factoring in the fact that his cape has added extra weight, but the figure does feel heavier than Blizzard. I don't know, Blizzard again just feels Feels really hollow. Put him to the side. Um, if we overlook the face, which is, again, not the cleanest uh, applied paint, the rest of the body isn't so bad. It's comprised of dark green, and he's got this metallic lime green that makes up the front, the little insides of his legs, and uh, the boots. Now, let me touch base on the boots, though, because I don't know, again, if this is intentional, but the shoulders have this metallic lime green, so does the insides of his, his biceps and the lower areas of his, of his uh, forearms, but the legs aren't the same color as this. And I don't, know if, I don't know if they're supposed to be the same color. I would think for as consistent as this seems to want to stay, this should also, I would think, be the same color as the, the metallic, but instead it's just a matte colored lime green. Uh, when it comes to Vision's articulation, he has the same as Blizzard. Ball joint in the head, but also hinges. At least the head is not as loose as what Blizzard's was. Arms hinge out. And they also rotate all the way around. Swivel point at the bicep. He has a double hinge elbow. I've heard some people say that I don't do nearly enough movement in the figures when I show off the articulation. So he does have the ball joint in the head, in the, uh, in the uh, elbow, as I now forgot what I was going to say. A uh, swivel point in the hand, which also hinges back and forth. So the hand is neat. I at least like that the hand is a different sculpt. I'd feel almost disappointed if the hands were both closed fisted, but luckily with the hand kind of open, that's guaranteed going to be how I'm going to position and sculpt and pose vision. I might even have his one leg bent, kind of just do like that, but it kind of deserves to have a display stand, a levitating, something I could give him that just kind of levitate would be awesome. Uh, and then there goes the cape off again. We'll just peg that back into place. Ultimately, I just might even glue the cape on, call it a day. Because see the problem is like the, the cape, the cape attaches to the neck but it's, it's on an angle. I just kind of wish it was more straight because it almost by nature wants to fight with itself. And that's a fight I don't think it can win. Uh, going back to the articulation, the upper torso crunch in the, in the torso section, swivel point in the waist, and then the ball joint legs, swiveled uh, thighs, double hinged knees and hinged feet. Things I like about the figure, paint for the most part is pretty good except for the yellow. Um, things I'm not super crazy about is the the angle of the cape. I wish that the if the cape was going to angle out this way, 
I wish that the peg went more straight as opposed to going on an angle. Again, putting pressure this way wants to pop the cape off, so you're probably going to find yourself fighting with it a little bit here and there. Still, I think it's a better figure than Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard, just by nature, just felt... just didn't feel like he was as good as he could have been. Vision I like. He's an updated take on a character that I grew up with. Again, paint's not too bad. Overall, a good figure. Just a few hiccups here and there. Today's Toy Spot, we were continuing our looks at the Hulkbuster way from the Marvel Legends Infinite Series. Today, we're having a look at Vision. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have a look at the other Marvel Legends figures. And uh, again, if you are interested in picking these figures up for yourself and have not fared, I know I'm bad for this, too. I look, look in retail stores. I can't find anything. They have, like, old Marvel Legends. They have, like, a few waves back, but none of the current stuff. So I ended ultimately picking this up from Big Bad Toy Store. If you guys are wanting to pick this guy up for yourself and the rest of the Hulkbuster wave, click the link down below, and you can order yours from Big Bad Toy Store. Again, certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way as we finish off Hulkbuster. Those are heading, basically, continuing along right after this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.